Oh no, we were at the Please introduce yourself to the people. Oh uh, yeah, I am Charity Wangari, mm -hmm. a business lady and an actress. Mm -hmm. And the mother of all. Years old. I remember you surprising me. Mm -hmm. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, Probably the youngest here, but the biggest. <laughs> the thickest. The thickest. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, for the journalism student at Masinde Muliro University of mm -hmm. Technology, I am also a podcaster, mm -hmm. and I'm so happy to be here, oh. and you're glowing. <laughs> you are. <laughs> what do you podcast about? My podcast, it's called Jambi's Perspective. So I wow. highlight, uh, I give my perspectives on societal issues, I talk about domestic violence, relationships, mental Whoa. health. I talk about societal issues, basically. Ha. Well, because I have a question that I want us to discuss. Kabla tuingile topic yetu ya leo, just because she's mentioned it, huh? Okay, a business lady. Well, the last time you were here, when you were introduced to... to Mutura. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't understand when you see one of Sit a wife, Kusaha. Many change life. Ah, you mean Bablisha. Thanks. All right. So you said something very interesting about um, gender based violence. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm only bringing this up because it's something that had come up on a social media a couple yeah. of days ago. So we have. Um, I know Eric Omondi is ex. ex. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to understand. Beautiful girl. <laughs> yeah, she's so beautiful. She's yeah. so beautiful. Okay. Let's just even for just the sake of, let's not mention her name. Mm -hmm. But we know who exactly who, she, who it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So apparently, uh, this young lady, uh, had the guy she's currently dating, I hope ni ex, mm -hmm. but the guy she was currently dating, the story according to what we saw on social media ni ali kuja kwake sijui akachukua fungo zake akachukua sijui nini yake simu akamfanya one two by the way alimfanya alimfinya bro umeona after effects sijui hata kalikuwa kama umia mguu sijui alikuwa sema kwa anaweza kutembea poa imagine and then this person has the audacity to say, by the way, me ato kiambia watu, akuna mali unanipeleka, ju mina jua watu waku, watu wakubwa. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and this is not very far from someone shooting someone on CCTV na saya na campaign. It's mm -hmm. not very far, yes. isn't it? Because yes. we have seen what you have done. People have come out and said you did it, mm -hmm. but ukotu ju unajua watu, isn't it? Atu just a how, bro. Should know people. Atu just a how, bro. <laughs> should know people. <laughs> so how are we supposed to handle this as females? as females I feel like the first step is coming out and talking about it because when you share your story or when you share your episode with people at least to have ku uta uta say dm se mungina when you go through it but at the same time I think we shouldn't stay up or like my parents see everything and marriage is not everything mm -hmm. I feel like we should walk out of any relationship that is toxic or abusive or any man who lays a hand on you. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should just walk out. And then after that, una, una seek guidance. You just get help. And then you just talk to people about it, share your story, open up and you heal mentally mm -hmm. and from, the, from within. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the first step is walking out, mm -hmm. then talking about it, sharing your, if you're comfortable, that is. You mm -hmm. about the issue or you just talk to someone a psychiatrist or so but i feel like the first step is to walk out of that relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now i, I want to bring back the same question to you mm -hmm. and sana sana po kwa walk out you mm -hmm. know first of all you know, guys please know one of the people you cannot speak to and convince is a woman in love in love kwanza hapo akshaji i will make it work i will try to make it work hapo ni yetu mwenyezi naweza anaweza fika tu mahali mwenyewe aseme yeye ni rock bottom so say what are you talking and and there was another incident um there's I she was one of the cast members at mother-in-law mm -hmm. uh, she also got married okay how she got married married at 21 mm -hmm. and then two months after her wedding guys two months two months and where was, was the honey in the moon? <laughs> 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 Two months into it. Mm -hmm. So two months into it, she she's now 
going through some things. Yeah. I love for her or for her according to her story, mm -hmm. it was now something that brought in things like shame and guilt. Now we come as you had you know go back and be a mama. What's that a what mama yako na shinda kuambe a mama yako. And I remember she was a celebrity then, and how her her wedding was on wedding show. So like everyone is like. I love for scare umo to anampiga, but he's making very very he's taking care not to hit her face. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I'm not deal nae said in gin. And I'm ka kopa police view ko. Now eh we go na kelikwa mutwa chat. Oi, now no abaya. Hadi wakaenda counseling. Wakaenda kwa bishop fulani, bishop fulani acha tumuita bishop. Oh bishop fulani anaambia madam, ana madam, unokiona kusumbua bonako akona every right ya kukufanya mtu wa Mungu tafadhali. Anaambia demi bwa kama hiyo story sikufuata basi tutakupea link fear not just do it yes got you like msemo nyewe unaenda kukimbia kwake ndo anakuambia eh na uni father figure this is the only father figure she had had in her life inaitwa ni mail chovi ni zima mama ni chovi zima mama ndo nini sasa what do we are there red flags can you see violence coming like unaona mtu ana jam ama siku moja tu ame kama mtu ameenda church wali umeni court for months and months na ni ya kanisa mostly actually ni kuna red flag hakuna unaona mostly actually see mimi ni mtu church kabisa actually ana masha kwenye mimi huenda church but mostly when you wana finyilia sana ni hawa watu wa kanisa juu wamejificha behind mm. behind sasa unaona ni msewa charge kama hapo eh anakuchekesha nini nini but behind mm. huko si unaona hata mama ni wa ni wa ni wa Nigeria huyo mwenye mwenye liuliwa huyo madha anatuimbia sana there was this lady anaitwa Aje oh, um, i can't remember her name yeah a, a, a gospel mm. musician mm -hmm. unapata hapa si ni bishop yeah. the, the, the husband man, is the husband. Eh, na yeye ndo amekuwa ki msumbua mm. all over he finally killed her mm. na unaona unashindwa uma there she has all the money mm -hmm. like he love enyewe jo unafanya nini hapo nani kuambia mm. god hates divorce no. No. so, so, so <laughs> wake up big we bro ukufe <laughs> mungu a, 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 Mungu hata kama apendi divorce apendi mtu nani aliona kwa clip kwa kanini just love yourself first i yeah. feel like you should love yourself more to to feel like i should walk out of this i don't deserve this yeah. mtu ananipiga azen ananipiga aje like aje ati ju Mungu apendi divorce yeah. pia Mungu apendi mtu anachapa chapa apendi violence, apendi violence. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. i make sense in mm -hmm. any way mm -hmm. yeah i make sense in any way shouldn't how, be so how should we be relating with someone who has been through violence gender based violence Uta unmombe a bro si you get over it. That's not something nice to say. That's not something nice to say. And people sympathize pain of anger sometimes it's too much. Like we sympathize too much. Na pia utai kushinda ukimkumbusha. As if uoni nundu mahali bro. Mahali afai kufura kumefura. Kumefura kwa nini? Ah una unaongea na umse si toxins. Eh yeah. Hakuna mambo ya sympathy. Wewe uoni unakufa. Si just move on. Ame toka tu. Lakini Vinye tu umesema una a woman in love eh? kuna vile anakuaga hadi ukishamwambia anaenda kuambia bae wake unajiona nani alikuwa anambia aje like kwa kitanda huyu kwanza hata kwenda hadi by the way ni kama yeye kutaka unaona ni kama ni kama anakutakaga like na wewe unajaribu kumsaidia unaona so the best thing ni wewe mwenyewe in yourself hiyo kitu nafaa kutoka kwako the moment inatoka kwako maybe you can move on but the moment tunakaa tu ati hapo oh yes actually the reason why i started doing topics on domestic violence kulikuwa na niba yangu her boyfriend actually alikuwa boyfriend yake alikuwa anaishi kwa mmoja hata siku ishi kwa mmoja the girl used to visit the man mm -hmm. so this man was very toxic very violent alikuwa anamchapa anapiga nduru anauua kila kitu wanavunja kila kitu kwa nyumba and the girl would scream and senta kupeleka kwa jela you don't know my who my dad is nini nini ukipigwa tu anapigwa anapigwa anaenda and then after like two days anarudi una umerudi at his story I was going to do a kukua sorry. Hey, I will never do that. I am tired, my friend. I tried. I will never do that, baby, baby. Okay, now that we are talking about music and musical memorization day, let's bring this a little bit to Kwangoma. Why are we not talking about this? Mbona hatuimbi history? Mbona tunaeleza unatoka gin na mawiski gin? Why are we not talking about domestic violence? Why are we not saying, bro, ukisikia jirani anapigwa? Si u atitake actually we should. We should. Haita sell as much. Unajua? Sisi binadamu tunataka subaru ya mambaru. Tumekamu na kitululu. Sunaelewa? 
Mkitos umbo mko mko. Eh eh that's what in a catch. The moment umekuja kuleta story kama hizi sawa as much as kuna wenye watashika wenye wamelan just a few. Na alafu unajua mostly music si tunafanya tunataka i sell. We want to be rich. We want to kuenda fa mm. unaelewa mm. si ati sana sana ati ku educate like yeah. nowadays wewe sema ni kama kitambo watu walikuwa na educate mm -hmm. through music mm -hmm. siku hizi ni what sells mm -hmm. eh? that is what is going actually on that point mm. kuna wahu and nameless yeah. they did two separate songs two different songs on this this love kulikuwa na moja this love ya wahu and this love ya nameless mm -hmm. so one I, do, i guess it was wahu song mm -hmm. ilikuwa ya mapenzi la vidavis wanapelekana out and everything mm -hmm. alafu this this love ya nameless mm -hmm ilikuwa about a toxic relationship mm -hmm. so they, they try to bring out uh, the you know, the two aspects of love mm -hmm. and sasa nilikuwa naangalia kwa social media zao nameless and wahu so they they released the song almost the same time na ya ya wahu was doing better mm -hmm. than here and nameless so mm -hmm. your point wow. ya ku sell <laughs> it is very true yeah. uh, and we are human beings even though tuko that is how we are wired mm. and you cannot change that unless umepitia ndo utasikizia ngoma na nao wenye wamepitia pia si tunataka kuweka new, uh, another face eh? uh -huh. hakuna mtu atakaka kujulikana mimi nilikuwa na feel hakuna 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 yeah, unapata gata ingine inatoka from family mm -hmm. alafu kuna vile maybe majaribu kuipusha ijafika place mm -hmm. unaona mm -hmm. pia mseme umeenda kwa askari wanakuambia hiyo hiyo ni mambo ya nyumbani hiyo mm -hmm. story na kufa hivyo eh ya unaenda i tried marriage siku mbili tatu eh. pia unapata ah hii my friend <laughs> wese we not start let's let not skip past that i will tell you siku mbili tatu siku maliza miezi tatu my friend and let me tell you our narcissistic eh yeah. siwa na lugha my friend mm. hey una tea okay. na hata alikuwa yanga kuniliko like eh yeah 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 na kuambia na game on top wewe wewe hey. huh. <laughs> tuna take time ku move on lakini iko tu sawa it you happens si unakumbuka last time sijui kana wetu ulikuwa na wewe nikikwambia nilikuwa mm. niende mazishi ya my ah, home girl eh? alikuwa na ni wa, ni wa, ni dem liko anasema alikuwa anafanya na alikuwa auditor actually wa Kenya Railways mm -hmm. unaona ni dem akona do yake alimadoa na habi ilikuwa DN TV oh, wow. dem alikuwa aitwa Faith mm -hmm. ni wanduko kwetu Machakos county ya yeah. mm -hmm. so unapata hata unaweza shindwa wasi utaka nini mm -hmm. unaweza sema ah udem ako down eh mm -hmm. naweza mu street mm -hmm. naweza mfanya anything mm -hmm. udem ni auditor mm -hmm. pesa iko kwake unaona mm -hmm. and still mm -hmm. eh, u, wacha hata kumsumbua una mada and it happened na udem sasa i think we See? should also note that that domestic violence in akwanga too we see madem peke who chapo i was just going to ask mbona pia tuna ngoma za machali we wana wana finya lakini si sana kama madem si sana si sana kuna mtu ana speak out unajua as a man uwezi kuja uanze kusema ati mimi nilichapo na bibi yangu aje muziki ni kio cha jamii what 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 are we reflecting kama si vitu kama hizi ni nini tunaongelea what are we talking about right now betni hiyo vibe ya ya ku party and everything like Kulikuwa na sasa because kuna hii story ya Iani. Iani has been a musician for a very very long time. Mm -hmm. Iani has been in this game but the only time watu wameanza kusikia Iani. Mm -hmm. Pombe. <laughs> Leta pombe. Kazi yeah. bila. Na hiyo after that furaha mm -hmm. ni kulewa na marafiki. Hizi <laughs> <laughs> vitu zote zingine zenye yeah. Iani ametoa. Zinye zina mwana ndio <laughs> as human Ay, that's sad <laughs> no yeah it is <laughs> so true sad. it is si ni kweli actually hata saa hii ngoma zianza kucheza hapa gospel eh? mm. unless ukule mse spiritual eh? itaku utaifeel unaona mm. lakini waacha nini waacha furaha <laughs> kulewa na kila mtu ah, usi amebambika unaona uh -huh. yeah vitu kama hizo ndo zuzu bamba the vibe that comes with the song mm. 
the vibe that can come to the song. Ama ni beat, ama ni beat zina zina ziko juu. I feel like hizo wimbo zake za before ni kwa na relate na hizo kwa na jua. But when this one came ilikuwa na a certain vibe relate. Mhm. Uh-huh. Hapa ndo tuna relate ya furaha. <laughs> tuna relate hapa. Au na vibe tu nayo imagine. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ni hatutaki kufikiria ngoma ikichezo na tunataka tu kusikia kitu tu. First of all it's catchy na acha pombe till for the notice. But I guess acha <laughs> pombe till budango wa notice. Hizo ndio vitu tunataka kusikia ama um, But I guess mm-hmm. eh? Uh, life isha to slap already mm-hmm. unaona so hatu need pia ngoma itu mm-hmm. unaelewa itukumbushe mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so the only moment tunabambika ni ile ngoma inatuvaibia mm-hmm. unaelewa mm-hmm. hatutaki like ati una, una to advice tushaji advice life umetupeleka tumeji hutaki ku motivate you hatutaki tushazoea <laughs> tushaji motivate tusha move on uh-huh. we leta tu leta pombe just go on. that's uh-huh. that's us also uh-huh. that's the the you apo content mm-hmm. Mm-hmm kuna if you listen to bongo music za Tanzania mm. ziko na so they have so much weight huyu aniambia ngaviana nipende anasikia joto baridi sijui you feel unaona mbaka kwa baridi so when you come to <laughs> Kenya movie mbozo ni zi sasa ziko zenye zina trend everything mm-hmm. content ya watu letea ni hiyo mm-hmm. pombe nini mm-hmm. sasa we are used to that na if you want to listen to good music mm-hmm. we listen to bongo from Tanzania yeah. but mm-hmm. if you want to listen to to ngoma za hype and everything we listen to kwa hapa locally to go to go well represented that's the difference yeah. 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 so okay what hap- what do you think as a listener or as a consumer what do you think is going on in in the mind of an artist covid 2 ilitoka hivi kulikuwa na ngoma kadhaa za covid 19 so if if we are very quick to to get that what's happening what current affairs mbona pia tuseme we school fees imekuwa mingi tutoe ngoma school fees imekuwa hadi tuite trio si tuwe bado kwa shule ni nini mbona tuzifanya kitu kama hiyo yeye hapa nguingui so acha tu akae Oui, wacha tu wacha. Oui, wacha ya panguingui. So, hata kwa fees ya panguingui. Yeye ni pe ni ndo mkuu. Eh. But now, sasa vitu kama kama corona. Then nini? Hiyo kuna vile as much as ni ni vitu tunapitia hiyo mm. ilikuwa between life and death mm. unaona mm. kuna vile kila msia alikuwa amegoa unaona hii time za kwanza kwanza vile ilikuwa inakaa mm. watu waliacha makazi uwezi kuuza ghost town hii sasa si unakohoa tunakohoa wewe mnane amesema muanze tena kuvaa mask lakini wewe una watu tao mimi nimekaa mna train hakuna mtu akona mask ngoja august 9th haijafika ngoja elections ishe muambiwe sasa vizuri ni compulsory sasa kwa nini inakujia wapi? Compulsory kwa nini that time? Kwa nini sikuwe compulsory sai? Unaona that's a very good question. That's a very good question. Sasa it then. Aha, what's that on this job? #morning. But that would be a wonderful song. That would be a wonderful catchphrase. Like mm-hmm. mtu tu akuje ya rap asema mbona sasa hii tunaambiwa tu vai mask. Eh Hey, mbona tujaout mbona tujaout mafuta hata hata kupima na nini na niumiza roho like why are we not talk about this it should things? be a wake up call for artists out there ebo nyinyi kiocha jamii just reflect these things that we are going through talk about them we have people like king kaka who mm-hmm. have been um, yeah. we akona history ya kutongelesha kama yeah. kama let's say voters mm-hmm. akona history mm-hmm. ya kutaka wananchi mm-hmm. kuna mahali hadi alitwita wajinga wajinga nyinyi <laughs> and just that song alone mm-hmm. endangered his own life yeah. as a person Unaona. you know mm-hmm. alilibidi anza kutembea na security na wasani wengine walikuwa wanajaribu kumnini so mm-hmm. is it perhaps what to imbi vitu zingine cause we are afraid tutamalizwa bro it, actually i listened to your song ya iani triomio and femi one mm-hmm. they were praising the country mm-hmm. and and everything mm-hmm. and i felt like okay it's a nice song yeah. but are we really happy as a nation are we really contented are, are we really to go sisi ni wa kenya i felt like they should have addressed some issues that we are, we are going through as much as we are praising the president and the country yeah. uh, for for the developments and everything bado kuna venye mwananchi amefinyililiwa hapa down in a way we are cowards in one way or the other mm-hmm. in this essence eh? mm-hmm like the same way unaona saa hiyo wajinga nyinyi of which your song your song ilikuwa na content like mingi umse alibonga na unajua sisi ndo walikuwa nalilia like sisi like the common mwananchi 
but now ikafika place kama hiyo unaona so we have to continue shida the same way utaogopa the same umesema utaogopa kuimba wimbo kama hiyo mm. ndio hiyo itafanya waanza kuandika bodyguards hii pesa una, una make yako ama una make bodyguards sike mm. wanaangusha 1325 sasa ni ambie ni kama mshahara sasa ni hivyo Oh, wow. Just all right, sad. all right. It's, it's, what do you think? Please give us. I'm an Mimi na fuck pati a penny for your thoughts. At mm -hmm. on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is WCW or Y in the morning. We, in commemoration of World Music Day, we are talking about the music scene, in particular in Kenya. Tunajaribu ku understand. Are we listening to things that are actually happening? Ama si tunatoka tu kupare. Is that it? Is that what's happening? Today, Stephanie, my co-host, has just told me, KNH, the most DMs, the most common DMs. Mm -hmm. Kenya national, Kenya national, Kenya, 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 Sorry, I had a moment. So, Kenya national is not KNH. Apparently, the, the most popular DMs is people asking, na bro, Kid ni moja ni kiuza ni how much? Seriously? Walai. Wali watu wamefika iki. Tumefika. Zimbabwe watu wakata kuzo. Yes. Na ni kueli story li kueli. Ni kueli wewe. Wanauza. Kwadi wata ni kupe yobe ya nyamini liona guys. So the big toe goes for around $40,000. Ivo ivo alafu ya muisho ni 10. So ivo ivo ngini to katikati. Kuka kata zote. Wali sama sama napele kwa wapi? Wow na wari ya muna. Wari kenye. Ni pesa wa nini? My bad. Are we going to talk about how someone randomly somewhere one day says mitumba ni tunava ni kama tunava vitu na watumba mekufa. Mwona tusito engoma hapa. Shwali. Mwona tusito engoma mwoto natika kutumia snake poison kutusaidia na economy. Why? Why don't we want to talk about this thing? Really, it's the fear as you said. Better kuna mtu wako bold enough Hatu okay it's a challenge mm. to to our oh, to, to musicians and uh, <laughs> it's there. a challenge actually mm. to a bit to a content yako. just come out and tell us tell us that tell okay tell the people in power ama the people up there but they've been trying and we're not being reciprocating in the right way mm -hmm. they've been trying like uh, tutasema wafanye they've been trying mm -hmm. but imewaletea shida mm -hmm. like atwezi sema musician na wafanye hivyo as much as tunasema tuko waoga as a nation see musicians those people are doing their job mm -hmm. and they're doing it good mm -hmm. they have tried actually umesikia tumesema atuje kusikia content ya yani lakini tumesikia hii sasa yeah. let me tell you mm -hmm. if we just go back eh, tusikize hizo ngoma zenye zina make sense ziko na ni mm -hmm. mob unaelewa mm -hmm. lakini sisi hatutaki like tunataka to to, unaona mm -hmm. yeah that is what i'm mm -hmm. what is happening nataka kusikia mapiano sasa ina <laughs> muta nisambua <laughs> si ndio hivyo ndo tumesema mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right also is is music is the music culture musical culture in kenya a wave like tunangoja tu kitu hii happen say ama piano hadi we hadi ama piano nights mna beba firimbi <laughs> <laughs> Eh mm -hmm. as in are we influenced that easily kujo kulikuwa na wave ya Nigerian music watu mm -hmm. wakaanza complain sasa hii scheme mtu akicomplain ama piano tunacheza sana i don't know why yeah, then we make up for so eh, long the tours are every everywhere <laughs> every weekend na bado watu wako tu sawa i bet it's the hype mm -hmm. watu wanataka tu yoku feel uko outside your 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 space mm -hmm. wende tu mahali mind relax and ama um, um, piano ina provide that so why don't you just continue are we just go with are whatever we is... music for kenyans is therapy bus ndo maana atutakangi kusikia vitu serious like to generally <laughs> actually generally okay, music no, ni, ni ni a healing whatever mm -hmm. it's a healing medium like music ni ya ku heal mm -hmm. music at times za enzi zao music ikitokea music was for healing mm -hmm. most likely unapata gani kitu tu ya ku, ku kutoa from you in another mm. in a like in another world place you can relax mm -hmm. and relax it's That's, almost a drug yeah actually <laughs> almost kuna <laughs> talk addict na relaxing you say actually ni kweli ukiwa na tension kuna ile ngoma unapenda ukiweka si unapata gato umelala kwa nini kwa nini ulali ukikula au mkifanya anything hasa au ukiswim unaona because is a money ya ku heal yeah so music basically kwa naambia Steph ni kuna deep playlist ya kufua ya viombo ya kupika like i have like a tempo for everything i i want to hear kuna ya kukula ndio nilikuwa namwambia kitu alijuzi nimeenda kwa kibanda wacha tu nikuseme bravi ni wewe so nimeenda kwa kibanda na mtangu fulani so tumekaa tu hapo alafu namuona ndonga earphones ameambia bro 
una do eh kwa hapo una do unaweka playlist za kula eh ba okay alikuwa ananipima but i feel like we now should create playlist ya kukula ndio at least unaandika playlist ka sign you seen those memes za watu wa nini the flow is yours sasa watu kila mtu ana post ngoma kuna ngoma kuna ngoma zina trending on Sundays eh. the gospel songs mm-hmm. but the other days akuna mtu anasikiza hizo wimbo siku zingine ni waja kwa other people but on Sunday wana ndio the flow is yours ni kweli but i like that you said that because honestly for, i think for me ni Sunday ni very hard kutafuta kitu radio station ya kusikiza juu kila mtu ameamua ni genre mo, mm-hmm. moja mm-hmm. why is it like that is it tumesema gospel peke yake ni ya Sunday mbona siku ya Sato siku na watu wana celebrate Sato yeah. eh, i love fu pia hivi venye tunajaribu ku, ku understand if if artists can use their voices for our sake yani watu tete mm-hmm. oh politicians this 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 what about msanii mwenye amekewa to to to, to pesa mahali alafu come nitengenezee ngoma mm. efiririnda hivi kidogo <laughs> alafu twende nayo campaign What you might expect? not even like this particular candidate mm. but mufuko bro pesa hey, na siku hizi ni ile tu mseme maybe unajoa god siku hizi hakuna kitu hizi dupa tendo kwanza vile life imefika unaelewa yeah. mm. unaenda kula lanja na hapa kuna form mm. na, na si kitu inakuua inaku, unaona mm. the only thing mtu ataogopa sasa hivi kitu itakupeleka kwa kampuni talking unaona? about money mm. i felt i don't know if you saw kulikuwa na a certain kulikuwa na campaign a bet for women mm-hmm. yeah a certain uh, a certain political party and then this woman i wish she's a preacher she was praying So but Allah hmm. should I mention uh, but Allah kama kina kwanza she said Kenya kuisha Kenya kuisha na sayo hapo kwa Kenya kwanza oh. and she was saying like at the holy spirit but i felt like her heart wasn't there so alikuwa ameambiwa kuja tunakupa hizi do and everything mm-hmm. so alikuwa ameenda po for money Na, so even if you don't you best. don't follow the, yeah. what these people say or Nikuwe. what they do or you don't you don't ha, relate to them yeah. you don't even know what what alas vinyes una hiyo ndio tu hapo for money oh. and then oh, we'll just to... i miss him on the ambiance you have to miss him okay the last thing i want to discuss is why are some genres I want to say zimeonewa for example mm. t- to say me, and we we'll just talk about conscious music like music yenye nasema kwa ground ina happen mm. lakini kikwambia usikize can you see anything to smile about utasema ah, what you are reggae oh my god kwa sababu wafaa kwa wachafu nywele sdi inafaa kwa ime ime why is there such a huge misconception and and why is it that sometimes gospel ni ni toa toa gospel as in bona pia mtu kwa kawaida mbona like why are we classifying with with cla- mtu ako na cheo kidogo hapa juu rege kidogo tunamwambia eh bro kaka ndo wajaba kwanza tutakupata bezete tulia tule why why do we judge people by the kind of music they listen to because we are human beings we are just that <laughs> way i feel like the connotation we got from the first time like the first the, the reggae musicians when you were walikuwa na the, the dread and everything mm. so what kitambo so before watu waanze ku embrace the dreadlocks and everything kitambo watu walikuwa naona kama wewe unasikiza reggae unaeka dread kama wewe mm. unafanya hivi you know so i felt i feel like hiyo hiyo the hiyo feeling bado we are still rigid we, we don't want to change we want to still believe that if you have dreadlocks you listen to reggae mm-hmm. if you have if you do this you do this you do this you know na uko team wa jakoya eh, kama una vaka like bag hapo wewe ni wagenge eh kama una va decent na wewe ni wagosho hawa if you get also wewe ni wagenge wa kipiga kegosho wewe alafu na diwazikishika huko kegosho si juu ya dini mulevi ana anenanga karibu na creator yeah. shanganga tu akipreza mzee <laughs> sio kicheza nini zi ngoma za gospel kwa club venye watu eh kwanza takikuyu kwanza takikuyu kegosho my friend zina shika hey. also feel like uh, we are changing mm-hmm. as in bado tuko hivyo vile tunasema tuna bado tuna tunaika hiyo connotation people are evolving we are changing actually looking at kati tiktok sai seme kama ngoma ya gospel imehit tutapata almost everyone ana vibe to it 
hadi watu wenye wanajiclassify kama hmm. not christians you feel people like are vibing kama kuna ngoma sijui ni twandi or something mm-hmm. people are vibing to it unaona watu wana post videos using the song i feel like that's a change that we are embracing right now mm-hmm. tiktok imesaidia sana by the way mm-hmm. inaleta watu kwa yeah. mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. inaleta watu kwa common ground mm-hmm. una get mm-hmm. so the, as long as in a trend hata kama ni ya god tuko hapo hey. kama ni reggae tumejisumbua tuko hapo kama ni hip hop tumeanza kuswaga na bora umekuwa tu hapo kwa sasa tunaenda na wewe eh ni kweli what is trending is what tunaenda nayo that's us mm-hmm. we are just there mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so in conclusion whatever sounds good we will follow it yeah what are you vibe with nowadays even no kuko aha ya alafu si unaga nishi ona hii nini um so many ni kama ka, ka youtube youtube anything either video yeah most listening videos iko kwa youtube mm-hmm. eh. unapata maybe imeeditiwa iko na views mingi mm-hmm. unaona the same picture ni, siju ka ushaiona hiki tu mm-hmm. unaeditiwa iko na kuna yenye miaka iko na views kidogo mm-hmm. na nyingine iko na views mingi mm-hmm. do you know we tend human beings mm-hmm. iko na views mingi na sasa hiyo ni is <laughs> just editing yeah. mm-hmm. na ni the same thing actually mm-hmm. that i know supu ukiangalia from a different angle mm-hmm. yeah. this is the best one mm-hmm. but with 100 views ba iko na siju how many one millions mm-hmm. that is that's human being mm-hmm. we want what is tunapenda kenye kinapenda kenye na watu wanataka mhm ushai notice kitu kama hiyo kwa na hivi na trend ya unaona hata kama kitu kama pizza maybe hata pizza kuna watu wata wapendi i love feeling is but since but it's with her and kula ya mababi ama no unaona that's what you want it's not like unapenda unaona so we are just human beings basically what sells but is it right thought it's not right but ni hard sana ku change hata wewe kuna kitu utafanya jumi nafanya na si ati hauna hauna principles mm-hmm. umeget mm-hmm. haya kuna kitu unafanya juu msee mwingine anafanya na si ati hauna ati anything but we just there mm-hmm. Wh- whatever kitu yenye iko inapendwa na wasee wengi is what we to, to nini unaona yeah <laughs> <laughs> i know i've been trying to say the last the last the last okay ini ya mwisho kabisa mm-hmm. juu ni mona moto hapo na jua hi dj dirage mm-hmm. how are you <laughs> so actually now that is here it's very good tunaza maliza na dj mi hata ni influence ni song gani nitasikiza na sitasikiza mm-hmm. pia mtu mwingine hata ni influence ni mc umesikia mc gogo venye usema umeachwa mara saba <laughs> <laughs> Simi tasikia hiyo ni nani let's just be honest yeah, sure. eh, so it's it's also about it's not just about us the, kuna literally watu wana to feed yeye yeah, 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 kama DJ DJ ata mm-hmm. kuchezea hii juu yeye ndio vibe nayo so mm-hmm. he will be feeding you mm-hmm. the music mm-hmm. he likes alafu wewe mwenyewe utachukua yenye wewe unapenda mm-hmm. so tuseme hatuwezi jifikiria ama nini tunasema cuz i am i am concerned <laughs> mimi kama val napenda ngoma mm. that does that mean siwezi jifikiria like i keep being influenced by no so una jifikiria kwa nyumba yako ukiva yeah. hivi that was all you mm. unaelewa mm. what you want the way you walk the way you dress the way you do things that's all you mm-hmm. but there's a kuna place inakuja kama it's just for maybe fun mm-hmm. na ni kitu nakubamba uh, we can follow actually eh, kama haikuumizi mm-hmm. una, una get mm-hmm. the only thing unakuja na kufikiria uh, the, sasa una, una think twice mm-hmm. eh, ni kama hiyo kitu maybe itakupeleka kwa shida unaona mm-hmm. but the moment is just fun na ni unabambika kama ni ngoma ngoma ina ina kunice ina mm-hmm. trend iko sawa wewe iko juu also it is mm, yeah, mama mama kwa 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 kwa. ni kiduru dukudu <laughs> <laughs> also ni wake dj kwa hiyo si amesema natembea na watu baya sasa <laughs> wrong rend <laughs> ndio yeah. na sasa hiyo hata ujui ki, uju, sa, unajua kitu lulu lakini hata hujaivu utaongoa yeah. mm-hmm. huko tu Ugo lakini hiyo ndo ina Ina, also ni wake ya DJ na huyo MC ku hype the song and to make you love it. Uh-huh. So if you feel like at DJ na ku influence our MC that is work. Uh-huh. So it means he's winning. Uh-huh. You know mean uh-huh. anako if, if you come at Bambi what is he doing there? <laughs> Actually, tuseme ana si anaandika kusema kama ni kwa club. Si ameandikwa afanyio kazi. Eh, too nice. Eh, so if you know what you're making chini na uko hapo na unakula dhao zako asubuhi kienda home. Eh, Ina make sense kweli. Umefeel sana sana. Si umefeel. Lakini the moment mse akiwa kula the boss akiwa kula kwa masiti ya Sote ni kunywa na marafiki anajua useni ule DJ yako star it is what it is it is his work to influence you all right he's paid to do that okay now the conversation got we got to go we got to leave however if you're just joining us in conclusion to quote Noliza in commemoration of World Music Day the question was 
ni ngoma gani uwezi ka bila kusikia nani as in uta there'll be something wrong ushajaribu kufungua mlango hata unaingiza mfunguo ya choo kwa kwa gate as in umechanganyikiwa just because <laughs> eh hey, you hujapewa dozi yako hiyo yeah. ngoma just let me know hashtag #sbcw or when the manawasi jokuliza what song is harassing you currently or which songs yenye huwezi ka bila kusikia aha uh -huh, sai Mm. Napenda and in the understand, me and understand. Yes, baby girl. Oh, I am currently listening to Mawar. I'm listening to Utu by Ali Kiba, I feel like just vibing i'm vibing with it mm -hmm. <laughs> ameshindi hiyo ngoma mpaka sasa imeingia hadi kwa makucha za mungu. Yaani like hiyo ngoma tu jera. Actually uh, actually my brother sleeps to that song. He sleeps to that song. Lazima aweke jera handi walale. Wow. Just imagine. Unaona. Alafu Jovi, mimi ni mbona mtaji magi wa nyumbani. Msijui mnanifanya. Sijui kama wananifanya vizuri. Magi wa nyumbani. Kuna vile tupeleki nice. Ndovu kwa le slap. Hapo kwa ngoma. Ndovu. Ndovu. Wewe musalimike yeye na BN. Ah ni nimesikia sana. Nime Hata ni some comments kidogo dogo kabla tu toke. Oh my gosh, we have two minutes. Mtaisi Moriana says na Tarot Lock Mimi ni shenyo yote. Hani more girls is morning to Lucid Dreams by Juicy World. Our boys is good morning to Nin Eldoret. Uh, my favorite love songs, Kuloba Nelly says Love Me by Kelechi. Na Kelechi alienda. Alienda wapi by the way? Alikama katubeba lafu. Kelechi ama. Anyway, I turn to Le Dennis Kawa says my favorite is D Day by Culture Moranga to tuned. Andrew Barasa says Abba featuring Sama Mawa. Um, Max Bryson says. Six nine eh, and my mood. Okay, Gideon Karai, the wake up call mix by ah, man like grouchy. Hey, all right. We have Becky Cherub says, Hey, admin on a taka Gina my whiskey. And me kuona. Karen took him away tonight. Cover by D major. <laughs> I turn on the screenshot. I miss the major. Uh huh. Cartella Capella says locked. Charlie K says what cardinal. Mm hmm. Brown Collins says between the lines. Yeah, Chris Martin. Me K says now you know. So now you know. By Nashinsky. Scott. Uh, we OG says now you know. Eh, okay. Eh, Sipole Nashinsky. Eh, Billy Omala says how it. Uh huh. Ndeto J three. I met like I had a link. Nani yake? Nobody yake. I like that. Willie Junior and Mekuchiki Pia Jack Mwangi says Freshy Barida. The boy to simple boy. Rafari says Grouchy wake up call. This is a full vibe. Like any Grouchy so. Haja lipi ya promo but he is a vibe. James Billy says hello. Extension Moonlight. Bakula says uh. Ati you mean if you don't listen to music to become sick? Kuna mutra mesema atroma ni da atrombo nani? Ambro says, K says, good morning. Karish Munene says, Subara Mambaru. David Do Duke says, asiwaze ya stamina. Kamau Musenangu says, good morning. Pamoja sana hapa. Kia Mwangi, Division Gatondo South. Asistandi wa shika says, listi ya mazishi. Kibera Savage says, go pato. By the way, your song in Naitango. Let's get to go pato. Eh, eh. <laughs> we gotta leave, we gotta go. Ladies, please give me your handles one more time. Eh, I love photo. So you can follow me on Twitter at Jambi Gaido, on Instagram at Jambi Gaido, on Facebook Jambi Gaido, on TikTok at Jambi Gaido. You can also listen to my podcast at anchor.fm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah me. Tuko pala kwa Facebook. Sijui Instagram ni fanyani ni lakini tuengia sumi. Sijui ni likuwa na oni kadulit lakini ni kwa tu. So TikTok. As I told you, uh -huh. with my Kadora, to to go to Abi, carry five. Eh? Mm -hmm. Then to um, Facebook, carry Abi. That's mm -hmm. me. YouTube, it's under the two man, the two man. Iko, iko, the two man. Kona ya WhatsApp, ama ni difunze kunya maza. Ah, WhatsApp, zo iko tu muta. Namba iko hapo. Chini. Hey, iko hapo chini ya screen. A very yeah. special shout out to Mbotella Sources. It's Color Me Val's T-shirt partner here. By the way, bre, babe, at brebe. Ui, babe, ntatoa. Like I got one T-shirt that said Color Me Val na kumekwa na kutrequest. Kama thao, ni mimi tu ni melalia maskeo. But I will do you a solid, okay? Meanwhile, thank you. 
thank you so very much for staying with us. Thank you for letting us into your homes. Thank you for allowing us to just have a good time, give you good vibes. Have I told you about the elephant? Tell us, please. There's an elephant that killed a lady in India. <laughs> so this elephant killed some old lady. I love who missed you, Madam Alifanya Nini. Ju elephant ilingoja mazishiake, akaenda kwa mazishiake elephant. Na kam trample alichukua si jui muili akai trample tena. Na alienda di nambogi. Other elephants did not touch anyone else. Walika tu apo. Wakangoja master afanya kazi yake. Na wakatoka. That's what's personal. Ndovu ni kum. Mm -hmm. ni kum. Musi sumbuane na ndovu. Mm. Any animal for that matter. <laughs> At Y54 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y54 underscore channel on the gram. Si mukwe na si kufiti na ni. Bye bye. Bye guys. Love you. Y254. Imagine.